Martha, to what extent do these problems reflect something that Eric Shinseki inherited uh, or something that's accumulated on his watch as he's got an increasing number of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans coming onto the system? You know, the, the VA has had trouble for a long time. Once you get in the system, once, once you have health care, there are lots of good things said about it. But that wait started a long time ago. On the other hand, Shinseki has been there five and a half years. We were in the middle of two wars. Why you wouldn't predict that you would have all these people and start taking care of it a long time ago. One young veteran said to me, oh, it's great, they're making progress now, but it's kind of like they drove the car into the ditch and now they want credit for pulling it halfway out. So I, I think we all say, yes, there were lots of old veterans. Can't you figure that out? And you have millions coming home, and the problem is only going to get worse. It when seems like the, taking care of our veterans ought to be the least controversial thing in the world. It's not a partisan issue. It ought to be something that everybody can agree on. There ought to be the political will to do this. And yet, yet it is a chronic problem. Why doesn't it get fixed? Well, I, I think one of, the, one of the things is it's a really difficult problem. It is not easy. And the structure and the bureaucracy of, of the Veterans Administration is complex, is immense. You do have it's all these people coming in. It's the nation's largest health care system. Largest health care. Yeah. That's exactly right, Gwen.